you gotta do a video. Just, just beat the crap out of the camera with your tail. Hey everyone, meet Jax. Jackson is my dog. If you've been on the channel for a while, you'll know that Jax has been my dog. Like, he is literally my dog. And if you don't like sappy dog stories or you don't really care about dogs, this video isn't really for you. This has easily been my most requested video as of late. People want to know about my dog and like figure out what he is and like they had so many questions that I'm going to try to answer them all right now in this video. Isn't that right, buddy? I'd say that probably the most asked question that I get about Jax is what kind of dog is he? When I first got him, I rescued him from a humane society. He was two days away from going to animal control. Basically, uh, animal control euthanizes the dogs. Uh, there's really nothing else that they do besides they, they keep them and if they don't, they don't stay there for a certain amount of time, then they put them down. And Jax was two days away from going to uh, the, the euthanization process when I picked him up. And he was a year old when I got him. I did the blood test on him and there was a bunch of like unknown percentages, but basically he's mostly plot hound, German shepherd, boxer, and uh, I think lab, something like that. But mostly plot hound, it was like 50% plot hound. But basically he's just a big ball of who knows what the fuck he is. But there's actually a pretty cool story about how I acquired Jax, I guess, of how I, how I bought him. Um, at the time, I was living in a single bedroom apartment in Brunswick, Georgia. It was a pretty nice apartment, with legacy apartments, it's not, not bad. <clears throat> I was living there with my girlfriend at the time and my friend Matt. Matt was a friend of mine from high school and he wanted to move down to Brunswick with me, uh, but he didn't have a job and he didn't have anywhere to live, so I let him stay at my place till he tried to find a job and stuff like that. So he stayed at my house a couple of months just to try to find a job and uh, that way we could get a two bedroom apartment and stuff like that. It, it didn't end up working out, but while we were there, he kept talking about wanting to get a pit bull. He wanted to get a pit bull, and I was like, oh, okay, well, we'll go look at pit bulls for him, you know, not for me. Uh, eventually, he was going to get his own dog. We just wanted to go look at dogs. What are you doing? It's my arm. Yeah. So we show up to the Humane Society, and we start looking at pit bulls and stuff, because that's what Matt wanted. Matt wanted a pit bull. I didn't want a pit bull, and, and not because I don't like pit bulls. I actually think pit bulls are awesome dogs, but... A lot of apartments and rental places don't allow pit bulls just because they're considered dangerous breeds even though we all know that's bullshit. Anybody who has a dog knows that pit bulls are just as good as other dogs. It's all about how you raise them. Some of the sweetest dogs I've ever met have been pit bulls. But Matt wanted a pit bull so I went there looking for a pit bull with him. And uh, we were there looking at dogs and stuff like that and nothing really stuck out to us. Matt and I got separated. He, he was looking at dogs that way, I was looking at dogs down this way. If you don't know what humane shelters look like. They're just basically a long line of cages and they have dogs. Well, I'm sitting there just looking at dogs and all of a sudden I hear from around the corner, Jackson, no! I look over to my left and there is this dog barreling around the corner with like a leash draped down like he obviously he'd gotten loose. <laughs> up to that point, I'd never had a big dog. You know, to me, uh, growing up, I had a wiener dog who's still around. My, my parents have a wiener dog. So I didn't, I've never really been around big dogs. I didn't know what else to. I didn't know what else to do. I just stood there. So there's this big fucking Jackson that comes barreling around the corner and jumps up on me and starts licking my face. I looked at the lady. I was like, "Is he available for adoption?" She said, "Yeah." And I was like, "Well, well, that's it. He's my dog now." It was like one of those weird things where like the dog chooses the person. So that's that's how I chose Jax. He ran around the corner, jumped up on me, and started licking my face. I was like, "Yep, that's my dog." In the right, buddy. When I got Jax, he was a little over a year old, so his like ways were kind of already set in stone. They say you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but at a year old, I decided to work really hard with him. What is it? Get it. And if you're wondering if Jackson sheds, yes, he does. He sheds a lot. If you don't stay on top of it, there'll be a thin layer of fur on everything. After I got Jax, I almost instantly regretted my decision to get a dog because this dude partied way too fucking hard for me. So no joke, we get him in the back of the truck, and have the windows rolled, not in the bed of the truck, mind you, in the actual back seats of the truck. I had a, a four-door Tacoma, and some people even remember my videos from Danny Tacoma 4x4 on my old YouTube channel, where I post videos of Jax in my uh, truck. I'd had him for approximately five seconds. I get him in the back seats of my truck, and I roll the windows down so he can, you know, uh, enjoy the breeze, I guess. It was a nice day outside. The windows weren't even rolled all the way down. The back windows wouldn't go all the way down. They'd only go, like, halfway. We were five feet from the parking lot. We hadn't even left onto the road yet. And this dog barrels out of the back window of my lift. It was it was lifted. It was had like a, it had a six inch suspension lift and a three inch body lift. I mean, this was not a short truck. He barrels out of the window and lands on the, on the concrete and scrapes himself all the fuck up. It took me and Matt about 10 minutes to round this freaking dog up after he chased a squirrel around the parking lot. And uh, at that point, he was muddy and bleeding 
We get him back in the backseat of my truck, which was brand new at the time. I had just gotten this fucking truck. So he's in the back, bleeding all over the back seats. And it's it's nothing serious. He just scraped up his arm or something like that. It was, it was totally fine. We get him home. I'm like, okay, we're going to go to Walmart so I can get him a kennel real quick. I didn't know if he was trained or not, so I wanted to get him a kennel so he can, you know, he doesn't shit in the kennel was the idea. You don't know the dog's background. So I went out to Walmart to go get him a kennel. I lived right behind Walmart and I was gone for approximately seven minutes to leave, buy the kennel and come back. I put him in the bathroom and closed the door. <clears throat> when I got home, I opened the bathroom door, the lights were off and it smelled like shit. This dog had shit on the floor, stepped in it, freaked out, jumped all over the walls, turned off the light and then rolled himself in the shower curtain and took him down the shower curtain. Where he was sitting in the shower, covered in my shower curtain, and dog shit. My first reaction was like, I have to put him down. I just got him. I'm gonna have to kill this dog. <laughs> After that moment, we basically all became best friends. When Matt was living with us, he had a, a mattress that was in the living room. He slept in the living room. And Jackson and Matt would just nap together all the time. They were napping buddies. So Matt would spend all of his days looking for a job and hanging out with Jax. So him and Jax became really good friends for a long time. At that point, I started working with Jax pretty hard and trying to train him and he was potty trained. Taught him a bunch of tricks, stuff like that, really worked with him, and he's, he's actually, he listens really well. When we go out for a walk in the neighborhood, I don't have to put a leash on him, he just walks right next to me. I mean, you know, it's, it's dog mentality, but he's a rescue, and when I first got him, he had a little bit of, uh, <clears throat> like, food aggression, right? He would, he would growl and, or, you know, be really defensive of his food. It's like, I'm the one that gave you the fucking food, dude. It all boiled down to about one incident where we basically fought each other. Jax and I had, like, a physical fight. Or he, I guess, tried to challenge me or something like that. And I hate to talk about this, but I basically had to kick his ass. And after that, we haven't had a single issue since. And that was, what, about six years ago? Something like that. I got him in 2012 and he was a year old. So that means he's six? He's going on six years old. And you know, usually dogs start to calm down when they're like six or something like that. But Jack still has all the energy of a puppy. I mean, it's ridiculous how much energy this dog has. And everybody loves Jackson. There's only been one person in Jax's entire existence that doesn't like him, and they're not around anymore. You get a little fluffy, bud. We need to start doing more walks. You get a little fluffy there. Look at all this extra, look at all this extra cush, dude. What is this? You know, a lot of people who don't have dogs won't get this, but Jackson is, is not just a dog to me. He's, he's, he's easily my best friend. I can come home from like the world's shittiest day and Jackson will be just super excited to see me. I mean, yeah, you get unconditional love from a dog. Woohoo, everyone does. It's just different when you have a best friend. Some people keep their dogs outside. Jax, 100% of the time, sleeps in my bed. Uh, not every night. Sometimes he'll piss me off and I won't let him up in the bed. Jax has been on the YouTube channel since as long as I've had the channel. I mean, some of my first videos, he's in, he's in the videos. And it didn't seem like anyone really gave a shit about Jax until like the past year. It doesn't even really seem, but it's really weird because it doesn't seem like anyone's really given two shits about Jax until the past year. Where everyone's like, make a video on your dog, make a video on your dog. Even when I live stream on Twitch, everyone always asks, hey, where's Jackson? And then I have to go get him because he's off doing dog stuff. But he's my napping buddy. Whenever I get tired and lay down and take a nap or whenever I go to sleep or whenever I'm just doing anything at all, he's right there with me, man. You know, the good thing about doing YouTube as a job is that I get to have my own schedule and I get a lot of days where I just sit around the house and do nothing. But the bad stuff is when I have to travel, I'll be gone for six, seven days at a time and it like totally stresses Jax out, I feel bad. I don't really know what else to say about Jax. I mean, he's a dog. At the end of the day, like, he doesn't have a job. He doesn't fucking pay rent, you know? He eats his food and he takes shits in the front yard. That's how he, that's how he lives. I wouldn't say he's the best dog in the world. I'm sure there's better dogs than Jax, but he's my dog and that's all that matters, right? Isn't that right, buddy? See, this is how he asks for belly rubs. He just rolls over and gets all up in your shit. But he's a great listener and he stays by my side when we work out in the garage. The only time that I really keep him out of the garage is when I'm either welding or grinding something really loud. And that tends to fuck with him. Plus I don't want him looking at the art because he's a dog and he'll be like, that's bright. But yeah, he also does that. He, if he stays on his back for too long, he sneezes. I don't know why. One day someone broke into my apartment back when I lived in Brunswick and he woke me up and let me know that there was an intruder. And I was able to hold the intruder there by shotgun. Oh, oh that's your spot, isn't it? Hey. Don't be knocking over my camera or my phone. What are you gonna do, bitch? Huh? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Jackson, are you a good boy? <laughs>
Get him, Jax. Get him. Who is that? Who is that? Sit. Shake. Good boy. High five. Jax, high five. Good boy. Roll over. All the way, you lazy shit. Bang. 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 Oh. <laughs> Ninja roll. Bang. Speak. Oh. Yeah. He also loves to throw tantrums when he doesn't get let outside. Wanna go outside? I hope this video was exactly what you wanted. If you guys want to see more videos of Jax or Rooney, let me know. He's always going to be in the garage, but he goes by the hashtag JaxTheDog on Instagram. Fix your, fix your lips. Fix your lips, you little... Also, let me know what type of merchandise you guys want to see from Jax. I've had so many people say that they want Jax merchandise. I'm thinking of one of just his head with like a hat on and some sunglasses that says Jax the dog or you're a dog. Rock's home. What? What? <laughs> Gross. Jax's favorite snack is feet. Eat my feet. Eat them. Eat, eat my, eat my feet. <laughs>